What's up guys? This is the Brothman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of My Empire Total War. Let's play as Louisiana. And this is going to be a one hour special. And in this special I'm hoping we can make some quite decent inroads on the on the final invasion of India. So to pick up where we left off, uh, we've landed some forces off of the shore of Calcutta and then the garrison has actually moved to intercept us immediately. So they've got lots of cavalry. Uh, they've got these 64 pounder great guns, which I think would be pretty cool. They've got a thousand range accuracy, so they outrange everything we've got. But I would imagine their rate of fire is pretty slow, but I'm just cool. I'm interested to see how they look on the campaign map. Uh, they've got the, um, the Kizilbashi Musketeer uh, Corps. They've got a couple of Royal Inf Indian Infantry Guards and a few Sikh Warriors. A lot of melee troops there to be careful of. Um, so I think the order of the day is to advance with caution. Uh, not to get too caught up in the melee battle. Because you think a line infantry unit here, attack 6, defense 13 against, attack 14, defense 16, same sort of morale, and then our our Afri uh, American infantry mercenaries are actually just generally, they're a bit worse across the board except for on the melee side, they've got slight, they've got an additional um, one of an additional one stat bonus in attack melee attack and defense compared to my reg regular line um but yeah i kind of want to stay stay at range really let's crack on lots of cavalry so we get there's a risk that we could advance too quickly their cavalry into high up our infantry too easily at the start of the battle and then we start to see up to take advantage of the chaos but we've got a lovely flat battlefield right here so let's put okay first of all let's move our buckets of howitzers out of the way they've attacked us so i will do them the honor of uh walking into our gunfire so you've been deployed Got this last set of guns then i would like two mercenaries and one unit of marines on this flank Two units of mercenaries and one unit of marines on this flank. That's a bit too far. There we go. Pair up a light and heavy cavalry unit on each flank. Out here. So, we've got all these mortars. So set up two batteries of two units. Firing carcass shot. Position them on the flanks so they get so they get more well a slightly increased chance of uh, hitting hitting uh, quick lime not quick lime shells carcass shells carcass shot shells or carcass shots uh, in the right uh, orientation of enemy units. Well, they are all going to engage. Yeah, too bad we haven't got the carcass shots um, off. So these are the great guns. And I would have preferred them, preferred them to be a bit... A bit bigger, really. Compare that to a 12-pounder. Well, no, I suppose 12-pounder is quite a little... It's a seem like more of a, a pop gun. They're both my field artillery pieces the field artillery battalions can feel free to engage this gun team okay let's start to quick climb some of these cavalry drop these mercenaries on the flank into square You to hit the first lancers. Get my cuirassiers in against the native lancers. Although I would rather be be a bit more careful. Drop you guys both into square formation. You guys are wavering when you've hit my line, so you'll probably rout. There you go. Caught canister shot those camels. So we know. 
that cuirassiers are, are fairly good at dealing with camels. Okay, switch back to round shot and engage their line. Okay, my light cavalry can continue to engage the lancers while my cuirassiers attack the camels. So camels, as we know, do have bonuses against cavalry, but cuirassiers are sufficiently armoured for it to be not as much of a problem. I would like these lancers to be eliminated. So let's pick. Make sure our artillery targets are doing good jobs. Let's get this cavalry out on the flank. So it's the cavalry battle that's concerning. Good, they've broken away from the cavalry combat, so that means both our cavalry units can isolate and destroy the lancers. These squares are holding which is what matters. You guys ought to be canister-shotting that levy. Oh, pikemen. No, 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 no. Let's get that unit of power just to focus on knocking out that pike unit. You guys reform the square. Colonial Light Cavalry, let's get them to break away from the combat. Our cuirassiers can continue to chop away at the lancers. We need to get our cavalry around here to start to hit these infantry. Sorry I've not shown you guys the uh, huge amount of the combat, but that's mainly because there's a lot of stuff going on here. Camel the musketeer. Quick canister shot the musketeers, you canister shot them. Good. Light cavalry's back. You guys kill the, the lancers. Yeah, this mer mercenary unit was always going to be in trouble. You chase down the sea quarries. My heavy cavalry continued to push. You continue to hit the musketeers. Where's my other light cavalry? Here you are. No, this unit stays square formation. Understandably, our gunners have finally been hit. Okay, let's get this unit of howitzers over here. You guys focus on the general. You guys danger close into the cavalry that we've got, the, the chaos that we've got right here. You guys need to deal with that pike unit. These infantry need to push around. You kill the lancers. Yeah, I like cavalry broke. No, you kill the great gun. Let's get my Crassiers into this combat. We'll get my Crassiers to hit this unit of Dakili. You guys keep forming up to fight the pikemen. You guys start to pick out the Sikh warriors hiding at the rear. Get those marines into the combat. Crassiers in. Yeah. So the left flank has broken, mainly because they've got all these Sikh warriors over here. So let's smash them with my cavalry. How it's focused the camels. Bring you in against this unit of Sikh warriors. These guys could fail quite badly against the the um they could do quite badly against the pikemen, but that's why my only strategy is to surround and engulf them. You ignore that. You need to give my 
give my cressiers over here some support. We need to break this combat. Good, the lancers have been broken. You guys focus on the musketeers. You guys pivot to form up your new line. Could be on for a bit of a loss here. Depending on how well these guys hold their line. And how well you guys do against these Sikh warriors. Oh, come on, Let's, if we can knock out these... It's these damn Sikh warriors, they do so well. Good stuff. Colonial line. Okay, get everyone onto these camels. My marines are doing good because they're my marines. So let's you guys hit pikemen. Let's get those men around the rear. You guys hit the Sikh warriors. You guys hit the Sikh warriors as well. You guys also smash them. Okay, you guys here charge the pikemen in the rear. You don't really have a target, so just stop what you're doing. Neither do you. Hundred and first Achilles is still alive. General's bodyguard back there is still alive and kicking, so you go start to lob round shot at him. So your guys are shaken, my guys are doing okay. Let's bring my general back over. Let's also march this unit over. Ah, there we go. Take out 117, 127th. Sorry. Let's bring my general over to inspire my men on the left. Okay, they've more or less been killed. So let's march back. Let's get my howitzer units to continue to engage the general's bodyguard. So the pikemen are selling their lives dearly, um, however, sell it they shall. As my howitzer continues to engage, my howitzers continue to engage their general. Yeah, they've, they've broken. The pikemen are going to rout, so there they go. So let's just run them down a little bit. end it actually we've not really got the cavalry left it says it was, was a lot of blood and i thought it was going to be uh we did manage to win a substantial victory the garrison is almost destroyed but at great cost yeah so here comes some of their some of their responding uh troops and the venetians as well will be up to no good So workers on strike in England. Yeah. But we always, you know, we haven't expected them to make peace. We have multiple armies. Yes, sir. More orders. Okay, let's get another unit of guards. Let's get some... You've already got your cavalry, actually, don't you? Yep, you do. 
Um, okay, these forces, well, generally these forces need to stay here, actually, except for you, good sir. Let's take this lone fifth rate. Get you aboard ship, because Ireland is in good hands. Get you to sail over and join them in India. We've got a good navy on the go. Let's get couple more ships of the second rate six ships of the line let's do some economy upgrades we've so what consistency is this fleet not a very good one but do we have a capable fleet in the region actually able to intercept i've got a, a the remnants of a <laughs> a very da a very damaged remnant here but I suppose this is uh, on me for uh, not yeah, keeping pace with my naval responsibilities. So down here. Well, actually up here. Let's get Ambrose flagship. Let's get two heavy first rates. Three first rate ships of the line. Then let's get four five second rate ships of the line get those guys recruiting I want to build you up to a steamed dry dock so your main advantage is going to be churning out these sort of sub ships of the line same with down here you're better off churning out second and third rate ships of the line because we can't intercept, um, but we can respond. Because we do have... Actually, let's get a couple of upgrades here. And we do have this force here in Trinidad and Tobago available to respond. It's quite a quite a good force, actually. It's one of my early ones. It's got some of the Royal Escossais. This force is very small, so we could intercept it. But they're probably going to do something like land here in Jamaica. But my main focus is going to be on... Um, letting them land so we can then counter invade that that'll be i mean it's my only strategy because <laughs> i can't do anything about it um it'll have to do so right now we've got three forces here in the british isles but that is just to try and keep the peace i mean one of these pleasure gardens can be destroyed because you've got two of them in scotland and i know that's really helping keep you on side but i really don't need that many And to be honest, I might not even need one there in Ireland because they're already plus 10. They'll be fairly happy with... Well, this is it. With new techs, they might become increasingly angry with me because of industrialization. So I need to be careful there. Hartford. Hmm... Oh, you're already on Threshing Machine. Hartford's on Light Infantry Doctrine, which I do want, because I want the Chasseur Pied. So I guess Cambridge, their next stop, will be Steam Engine. Um, but, up over to Indi India. <laughs> Still going to keep spamming up troops. Yes. So you chaps replenish. Officer on deck. This new force Gathering lands yes, to provide yes, some cover let's send the fifth rate back to Ceylon to prevent counter invasion and you guys can beef up one of these fragments here so you are able to attack but I do not want to attack um hmm. a hadi that's pretty neat I want this guy to take the lead uh probably actually swap some your humble servant We've got a lot of cavalry. Hmm. I'd probably like to balance this guy out a bit more when I've captured Calcutta. Be a, a general uh, expansion of troops is uh, is on the docket, I think. Keep upgrading my military buildings. I mean, 
lots of the time it's kind of un well it's kind of unnecessary but i don't like seeing those goal and hammers spinning around i do like seeing them do you like seeing things built especially when you've got as much money coming in as i do Hundred and seven thousand now we're up to which is pretty damn awesome um let's do an infrastructure check I don't see any problems in the Americas because there's only two regions we don't hold. But in other empires, other territories. Ah, government upgrades as well. We can upgrade you to a great state. <laughs> Still not growing, but I suppose it's because we've recruited so many pop so many people out of New Orleans that uh, there just isn't so many demands on towns anymore but in general things are doing okay um, the easy option is to knock down the university but i don't want to we've got the uh, pleasure gardens up and up and kicking so there's nothing we can do about uh, making them even happier from that regard so it is just a case of waiting down you know, ending turns and letting this resistance to front occupation tick down. Um, apart from that, like I said Edinburgh. You're going to stay here just in case that no rebel army spawns and then decides to run north. Now um, let's hit end turn. Ah, there's a building in Maine I could have upgraded. So the British fleets are on the move. I would not be surprised at all if they re-declared war on me. But, you know, we've got suitable forces available that uh, we could if we wanted to. Ooh, you want counter-offer, just trade. Fair enough, no trade pour vous. Right. So let's see how the AI responds. Hopefully... Oh, nuts! How did you not get to the trade theatre? Why are you sat there rather than sending your... What? Oh, well. Leg, one army bites the dust. They never let these go. Ever. <gasps> that... So do you think that's an army I sent over to the America? Oh, I sent over to Europe and forgot about. That's the only reason it could be there. Um, in any case, that is a hell of a lucky scrape because normally, when it makes one of your ships flee on the campaign map, they hunt it down to destruction. So I assume these fellas actually lost a lot of their movement coming out here. Which means you... Oh, with Gautier Brissot's army, you also go over to India. <laughs> okay, let's go down this construction tab just to make sure we do upgrade all of our buildings. We can be significantly less bothersome about the cash side of it now because we do just have so much money. still angry with us you should be replenishing where you are okay Newcastle commercial ports Belfast become a commercial basin and bustle becomes a weaver's cottage Ceylon general upgrades to their military capability Upgrade the farms as well, I need to do that. And just a whole brace of upgrades in the Carolinas. God, the explosion of wealth in this state is going to be huge. Almost, almost. Ex but actually, everything that can be upgraded in the Carolinas is being upgraded. It's a whole lot of money. <laughs> That's going to be a lot of income we're getting from, from that state. And Savannah, you can get upgraded as well. Upgrade you to a palatial estate. Good, let's hop back over to... Actually, I remembered seeing... Yep. Brunswick. 
Let's upgrade you to an Iron Master's works. Understandably, they've rioted in England again. So repair the college just to keep conversion. Keep conversions going. Although someone... I think it's because they... Oh no! College of Divinity? That's the Protestant one. Smash that down for a start. Let's get rid of you. Let's make sure that uh, we start to convert our population towards Catholicism. Okay, Philip Buff has become a happy drinker. Successful missions overseas. So England's recruitment is going very well. Let's recruit probably... And recruit a horse grenadier guard unit because we're in England and the grenadier guards are cool and then we're going to fill them out with two more regular units of line because these mercenaries aren't as good so so this army yeah, fundamentally the actual guts of the army aren't very good so we need to be careful of that in future okay this navy is still recruiting she will want to experiment with is bomb catches would be fun I definitely want to try rocket ships but I don't I mean usually rockets are a researchable thing that I cannot see Heavy privateer, bomb catches, brigs, sloops. Hmm, I don't know, I'll have to wait for that. Uh, so the reinforcements are being recruited in Ceylon. Obviously they're not as experienced as we would like. But then let's take a Minotaur out. Continue the raiding. In order to uh, prevent these chaps from building ships to interdict us they garrisoning their ports on the west coast I could sit you on here I might ship you up to Bacalor there we go sit in there you might stay in there actually fifth rates are cheap um, but what I wanted to do so you guys are still replenishing but what I definitely want to do is take two of your cav out of the equation, drop in your two higher strength howitzer units. I mean, right now this guy's got loads of cavalry, but you are definitely going to get sorted out. Move the reinforcing army within range. I hope I won't need them. And then let's put the city of Calcutta... Well, we're going to assault it because I need to establish a good base within the country as quickly as possible. Um, we do have, we do have, well, just quickly, we do have other forces coming in to support, but we have two armies up here. I'd like to attack Calcutta and get a third, at least. Um, there's other two armies. I'm tempted to land elsewhere in order to split their efforts. So they may land both together and maybe try and hit Mysore. But that would mean immediately attacking this force and fighting the garrison fairly soon after with a good general. Mm. Maybe from the east is the better option. It's it's actually a more valuable territory, earning 5,000 a turn. Actually, no it isn't. It's earning higher... It's got more wealth, but it's got a reduced tax rate. Hmm. And it may be because they have ungarrisoned ports. Arcot is the better decision because we can land in the port, disembark and strike the city in one turn rather than waiting here and spending a couple of turns fighting on the land. Um, but I digress. Let's go take out Calcutta. So I'd like to trade empire. I would also like to start building schools to Catholic missionaries to help put down religious unrest. Um... Chiefly because there is no real uh, Catholic presence in this territory. And this is actually quite an interesting position. Because
because I could roll my guns up to the top of this ridge and they could even fire directly into the centre where their general and so on is likely to be waiting. Because we know our mercenaries are just not very good in melee combat. Actually no, they're, actually they're better in melee combat than my line. Let's put four units of line here to cover the breaches. Put a wider selection of troops out on the flank. Let's put... Give them some cavalry support. Let's put a unit of light cavalry near my artillery in case they charge us. And we're general out here too. Let's put my guns up on the hill. Powitzers drop. Carcass shot. I mean, damn, they got a good hit on the centre, but I'm not focusing on that yet. I would like to focus on their walls, which means getting these guys set up quickly. Are there howitzers firing? Sure, looks like it. Who are they hitting? Oh, nuts. My guns are actually in range of their howitzers. Oh, no, that was probably their artillery. Okay, howitzers, you guys are on bombardment duty. You guys unlimber and get... Get it, get shooting. Bit of a shooting gallery, so what's that? Good job I unlimbered or else those guns would be destroyed as well. So my howitzers are going to make sure we definitely have a way in. Let's get them all. Let's get these two to focus on making the breach here. Get the furthest side guns to support the. Actually, one of you might start shooting at the. If you can. Nope, they're in range of the, the mortar garrison. As you can see, they are deadly accurate. One of our howitzers then switch to carcass shot and attempt to interdict their use of howitzers. And let's also see if we can provide some decoys to absorb their fire. Guns, the gunners have taken a hammering. I mean, it would help if they actually shot. So you guys... I mean, can these guys not see things worth shooting at? Like, you're not firing. You... I'll fire when you should. I mean, even if it's somewhere not useful, like over there. Or that armory. Okay, you hit that mortar garrison all the way back there. Keep lobbing shells into the centre. Let's make sure we have a way in first. Like these are fair these guns are fairly useless, so I'm tempted to limber them up and see if we can push them up a bit to do something. Yeah, 
I suppose I could have put my guns out here, really. But I couldn't escape the lure of the firing into the centre aspect. No, focus on the... Focus on the breach. Let's get a definite way in first. We can lob brown shot into the centre. <laughs> yeah, these guys are just done. So these guys, they've not limbered up correctly. Okay, let's try that. See if... Well, those guns are well and truly out of it. I suspect you guys will be as well. Ooh, good hit. Right in the middle of the arm. So I've managed to take out one of their guns. It should thin them out. But our howitzers need to... The howitzers are responsible for uh, needing to make a few ways in. We can't have... just one... We can't have just one position. Um, otherwise that will be a recipe for disaster. I don't quite know what they're aiming at now. I think they keep sort of going, deciding to fire at the centre rather than the breach. But you definitely are. You're firing into the middle, regardless of what I say. Like, yeah, look at all these dead bodies, right? They're definitely doing that. You know, if that's what you want to do, you can keep doing that while these guys... Okay, can you try and help make a breach? There we go. You guys just try and make multiple ways in. Because most of these guys are unpopulous, and I'm not worried about them. Those damn howitzers. So you and the one gun that's firing go to work on that corner section. Well, the artillery continues to pound the centre. Although, again, I'm fairly sure you guys are deciding not to shoot at them. Because, for whatever reason, so you guys may as well carcass shot there. So what have you got them down to? A couple of mortars. Who's in? So who is in here? Oh, it's a... Okay, some of their cavalry is stuck. That's what's happened. Yeah, but what I would like is multiple ways in. But I don't think that's going to happen. I'm going to have to be happy with... Hopefully, a capture of these gates. Because there's no other ways in for our cavalry to run in quickly. To knock out these annoying gunners. The only alternative is really these guys advancing on all fronts so because there's no point waiting let's do that you and that lone gun you start to hit that mortar unit you keep dropping shells on to that mortar unit and this one gun that's firing you keep firing into the center because soon 
there is not going to be an alternative. So the, the end result is to swamp them with so many... So many targets that their, how, their artillery can't focus on them all, actually. You guys may as well keep attacking that particular unit because they're in the middle of a big blob of men. So you guys attack that section of the fort. You guys go there. You guys go there. Two heavy cavalry units. Well, not the heavy cavalry units. You guys go there. So I've given orders to those three units. You can also wait while this colonial line is going to take positions up there. As the carcass shot reigns in and it's missing, I'm specifically trying to target these garrison musketmen because the bowmen are pretty much not something to worry about. Let's get you up that section of the wall. Let's get you here near the gates ready. Let's get you on that section of the wall. Let's get you two up to the breach. Let's get cavalry up as well. Your job is just to push through and hit the armed populace because if they're down here, they aren't controlling the gatehouse. force them to commit which it looks like they are going to commit their infantry guards so as my men fight their way through the armed populace these other units are ready to climb over the walls themselves so you guys are up and ready They're going to charge through the gatehouse. So they are going to start to run into obstructions. Actually, no, you guys focus on just getting up there first. Bring out my general. You guys form square for the cavalry that's about to charge through the gate. you guys actually run over here take that section get our cavalry over there pronto um let's get some cavalry into the center because they actually look like they're going to chew up our guys that have pushed through Zimandari horsemen are not going to come go down very well. And these guys are up and ready. They'll fire into the rear of the fire into the rear of the uh, enemy infantry over there. So let's run them along a bit. I'm happy to let these guys get up onto the walls themselves and then get onto the fire steps and fire down naturally. These two units, your job is to get off the wall get into a position where you can fire upon the enemy not far off from capturing this gatehouse yeah their cavalry looks like it's finally attempting to push out of the gate these guys just their job is just to occupy although actually you guys get the hell out of there because you're piece of wall is about to collapse so run towards yeah there you go you guys get off here and pretty much down into that combat
you guys actually just form square if you can. I doubt you really. You can actually do that. There you go, my men have captured the wall and they're going to fire down onto the enemy cavalry. My, my infantry's charging in. Okay, if you're all the way over there, you guys may as well charge and hit the mortars. I mean, they may as well. That's quite a significant challenge for us. You guys get down off the wall over there. Let's push the light cavalry through the combat because I don't want to get caught up too much fighting there. You guys engage the levy. My men are wavering because of our nearby artillery fire. You guys are hitting the dervishes, which is not good. No light cavalry. Kill that last Lancer. I would like to desperately get men over to that front sector. Let's charge you guys through the gates into the armed populace as well. Hopefully you're not bugged anywhere. No heavy cavalry. Let's get you over here as well. Hit the mortars. You guys f keep firing into the two-man. You guys stay in square formation. Some of our infantry is finally giving up the ghost. I don't know why our cavalry's um, unhappy. Especially as right now it's just against a few levy units. You are against one mortarman. You charge the lancers. Howitzers, carcass shot, those men near the breach. You guys knock out the rest of these lancers. There's one left. Hit these bowmen and these two men. Everyone else is becoming fodder, really. How's this battle going over here? 99 against 100 Firelock armed citizenry. It's because there's a cavalry unit out here that's upsetting everyone. It 
run my general in. Just the ears, hit the bowman. These two men should probably route soon. Let's get my general through through this combat. I want this guy to die. Good. Run them in. My infantry flying on the walls have been real champs and they've been holding up a good amount of troops. Get you guys over to the centre. That's what you should really have been doing all along. There we go. Position them like so. Oh, and the enemy force has... Ooh, largely it's broken. There we go. God, that was a close run thing. Started to think, oh no, don't tell me I have to rely on the reinforcing army. Oof. <laughs> that was a close one. But still a victory. And it's a victory that we at least have. Okay. So the danger is these fellas show up. So let's take you fellas and get you over to Colombo. Before we do that actually let's take... what ships have you got here? Two fifths. Not interested in taking them so let's just evict them out of the port. Let's destroy them with our own ships. So now the port is secured and the reason why I did that is so these men can be shipped immediately over to Calcutta, disembarked and used to bolster the garrison quicker. Any orders? There we go. These five infantry units then... First of all, let's combine some of these infantry units to make them somewhat half-strength. You, go, you men bolster the garrison. You guys should stay out of the way, really. Let's do some repairs. Oops. Accidentally cancelled that. Okay, so you're replenishing. What have you got? Pleasure garden, pleasure garden. Pleasure garden. Okay, let's knock down this pleasure garden. I mean, they really like us. I mean, they've got massive amounts of religious unrest. But if we knock this fella down to replace it with a church school, although it looks like there is a agent over here anyway. So a church school will be useful uh, to help deal with that. Yes, my lord. Let's get our fifth rate back to Ceylon. Let's get our big ships in port for repairs because there may be a chance these fellas push up. Um, but for now, that's all we can realistically do. Obviously, London is still causing problems. Okay, let's hit and turn. And let's see what happens. I was hoping the Royal Navy would pull back into the Baltic, but that hasn't seemed to have happened. Instead, we've got them all just lingering around our uh, territory. Yes, the French are pushing the Venetians back. I mean, I say that. I don't remember if I'm at war with them. I am in various other campaigns. I don't need to pull that. That's definitely not made it any better. But you know how sometimes you can have a set of blinds pulled, pulled across to uh, stop the sun from getting in your eyes? And uh, for whatever reason, there's always one gap and that's where the sun manages to uh, just peep through and burn out your retinas uh, I can't, to be honest the end the end 10 phase i've been so busy fiddling around with those blinds i can't i don't no we haven't there it is here comes the armies 
Ooh, do I want to intercept? No, I don't. Uh, no, I don't. Oh, that's very, that's dash decent of them. Uh, yeah, you're done. It was expected that that fifth rate would get pushed out and then itself captured. So my main focus will be trying to generate naval dominance over the... Uh, the western half of Mughal territory. Yeah, you're causing trouble, which I could probably deal with with these fleets. I should really deal with with these fleets. But first, India is the focus. So now our second army here is at full strength. Uh, you guys can now build a church school, and then here we can start to build some French East India Company infantry, and it is infantry that I want first. Let's get some sepoys as well. Trade route raided, trade route raided. So we've got steam pumped land drainage. We also have another rake. No rebels yet. Oh no, wait, there they are. Okay, well you're going to stay where you are and build the church school. Your orders, Your Majesty. Fleet destroyed. Yeah, we knew that. Fleet arrives. Mr. Delaney. Okay. Well, based on this encroachment of their navy on my territory, you fellas may actually sail to Kuttak. Because you've got the naval forces bottled up there. You can sail over, deposit your troops ashore. And you guys can get ready to put Kuttak under siege. And then you guys are going to go into this dry dock here. Because it looks like these guys are moving. They're converging on Calcutta. So the need for Ceylon to pretty much create resupply convoys that can be ferried back and forth to the mainland. A rake in Panama. Let's get you over here. A rake in Scotland, which I like. Look at that. You go over and join them. Let's upgrade some more of our ports. Let's upgrade our ordnance board. Port blockaded at Colombo. Yeah, that's you, which we will probably fight in our own naval battle. Orders. With these guys. God, there's a lot of fights going on. I need to fight this guy. I need to fight this navy at some point. I need to fight this navy. But let's go through and check our construction tab. Got lots of the Ceylon upgrades as well. Ceylon, 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 Ceylon. Trinidad and Tobago. Their ship hasn't moved for whatever reason. Oh, that's it. You definitely need to go to India with all those agents. Okay, you could do with... Just four more line infantry, I think, and then you're ready. Yeah. Various assortments of ships here. So I might take... Well, I'll take the ones that aren't repairing. Mm. Okay, let's take... Yeah, let's just take the Justice Admiral out and move him up to Louisbourg to join these ships being recruited. There you go. Built some forts as well for you. Yeah, we've got a rebellion in England which we need to fight. You join up with this chap. So right now we've got one, two, three, four armies in London or in England. I want to definitely drop one off in Copenhagen and see if we can squeeze a peace treaty out of the Swedish but the next actual battle is probably going to be you against the rebels 
because we need to just destroy them. Um, but looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for hopefully one of the last remaining battles against British rebels. Cheers, everyone. <laughs>